Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. Ozark, season one, episode one. This is the pilot on Netflix. I didn't know anything about it. I just clicked on it. This episode is called Sugarwood. Sugarwood. It's a good show. It's a actual it's actually a good show to watch. I recommend you get into it. So it's nighttime when we're starting off this episode. We're just we're in a little boat swaying. Fish, fresh fish, ice, a knife. He's talking about all these different words that basically mean money, dough, loot, uh, the cheese. All of all of these words that mean money. So I'm saying to myself, what's his fascination with money? Is that what the show is about? I haven't watched the trailer. About money and the American dream. He's talking about what is money. He's talking about facts. The only thing that threw me off was him sent was the main character saying that a gallon of milk was three dollars and seventy cents. Do you not drink organic milk? You're talking about regular milk then. Cause the milk that I get is dang near six dollars. I'm just saying. So the main character ends up putting this cooler in his side of his minivan, which has those stickers, you know, those family stickers. He's got those on the back of his minivan. It's a, it's a freaking billboard to your life. Get rid of it if you have it. All right, come on, use your noggin. Then our main character, Marty, starts unloading this cooler in this van at this property. Like, I don't know, it's like a lakeside property. It's got saran wrap, bundles of moolah, money, the fetty, the cream, cash, get the money, dollar, dollar bill, y'all. Isn't that your dream? Just to have stacks and stacks of money. Not a care in the world, but you know what? If you have to have it in Saran and you're hiding it, you probably got it in a dirty way. I'd rather it just be in that bank account. I can just go credit, <laughs> debit, ATM. That's what I would prefer. That dirty way, I don't want it. I don't want the dirty money. He said money is not peace of mind. Money is not happiness. Uh, well, what is it then? He said money is the essence measure of a man's choices. Deep. I love this show already. So we meet Marty. Marty is a financial advisor at something L and Bird. Um, I believe he's Marty Bird, honestly. I, I think that's his name, Marty Bird. Um, he gets this email with someone saying, look at it. And we, we look at it, we see a woman and a male, butt naked, and not a good hotel, but a crappy hotel, maybe even a motel, um, getting back shots. And by back shots, I mean... Back shots, okay? I'm not sure if Marty and his co-worker, his, if Marty and his peer, if they're hustlers, but if they are hustlers, they're playing this scam to get people as new clients. It's either that they're scamming to get this money or they are extremely cocky. We find out more about Marty. He's 22 years deep into the game of marriage. He's got a decade old Toyota Camry. Saying, look man, you need to go to the Ozarks. And I'm saying to myself, okay, Ozark water? Or are we talking about Ozarks in Missouri? And sure enough, we're talking about Missouri and this lakeside property that he's saying, you know, you can invest in it, you know, the water. So I'm saying, okay, that's where he ended up going when he had his bundles of cash. But this guy is tight with money. Just because he knows his numbers, he, he sees things differently. He's like my uh, my granny used to say about my brother. He squeezed a nickel so sh tight that a booger shoot out of George Washington nose. He's got a teenage daughter, 15-year-old daughter and a son and a wife. And, you know, this is a typical American TV family, I should say. You know, having dinner, going to sleep, arguing, everybody leaves the table. You know, that cliche stuff we always see on every show. Well, he's at home supposed to be watching Anderson Cooper, watching the news. He ain't watching the news. He's on his laptop looking at that skin flick. We think it's a skin flick, but it's so bootlegging amateur. We know it's got to be someone near and dear to his heart. It's wifey, wifey over there on the couch, on the tablet, thinking everything is peachy keen while your husband is watching you getting stroked out by another man. Shame on you. Everybody give her the stink eye. The wife had the nerve to say, I'm tired. You care if I go to bed? And I'm like, we know you tired from being disgusting, cheating on your husband, Marty. Wow, chick. Marty ends up out at night on Hooker Avenue, late at night. And we're, we're also seeing that he has something about him that, it, that no one knows. Or, you know, who knows? He might be a low-key murderer and he might have a background. We don't know, but this show is really, really good, guys. So the prostitute he was with called it, right? 
the prostitute knew what he wanted. The hooker knew him by his name first and last. And I said, now I'm not, I don't know anything, but I'm pretty sure the two, the worker, the hooker, she is not supposed to know your first and last name, what you do for a living, your kids, how much you make, what you do. I'm saying, wait a minute, is this a fast, fa is this a fantasy? Is he daydreaming that he's getting done? Cause she's stereotyping him pretty dang on, on point. Like bullseye, ting, head bounces, her head goes south. And I'm saying to myself, so you just, you're tit for tat and your wife, your wife cheated so you go to a prostitute? When a prostitute knocked on the car window and said, you, you can't self-serve. And, and, and the camera kind of showed him reaching for his cell phone. I said, oh, okay. He daydreams hardcore. But the writers, they, I don't know, somebody had to go through that to write that. Hmm. But dang! Myself, okay, who is Dell? Who is Hanson? Why are we rushing to get there? What have you got yourself caught up in, man? When he pulls in, we already know he's got a, a later model, uh, you know, decade old Toyota. Who cares? It's your car. It's probably paid for. Who cares? He pulls up, but it's luxury vehicles, luxury SUVs, Cadillacs, newer models. Obviously, you the cleanup man. You you fix. You're the launderer. You 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 clean dirty things because you're a numbers guy. You clean money. So we get introduced. We get introduced to Hanson Senior, the dad. Hanson Junior, the son, who's not a young son. He knows what he's doing. Maybe the secretary who works there. Uh, she gets blasted in the freaking face. She gets blasted while she's in the restroom. And we meet Del, Mr. Del Rio, who is an actor who's been in everything. He's played every part, and he's very good at it. Did y'all just see my flash swatter up there? <laughs> and he's he's very good at what he does. So Mr. Del Rio is saying, where's my money, man? Where's my five million? Nobody's talking. The chick goes in the bathroom, taking a long time in that restroom. And I'm like, yo, she's about to get shot up because he's telling this great, great dialogue, this great story about when he was a child and how his father's business was that somebody was taking that money. And I said, uh-oh, he's about to shoot. But before I could even get it out, blah, 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 he shot up the bathroom. That chick was gone. This show is off the chain. I'm not going to say it's that quality of a show, but it's good. It's good for, it could have been on regular TV easily. Easily it could have been AMC or FX this show. Netflix, even better. The money probably was great for them. I'm not mad at y'all for going Netflix route. Bruce and Hanson Jr. admit to doing that dirt. That lady did. I mean, you couldn't have said this earlier to prevent her death. She gone now. I, so then he tells us, Mr. Delks, ice cold with the shiny pistol, man. Ice cold. He says, I don't want you to have to. He, he told Hanson Sr., I don't want to. No father should see their son die. Pop! Gone. Shot to the head. The dad is dead. What happens to Hanson Jr.? Pop! Pop! Single shots, people. We're not spraying the whole place up. He ain't. Del Rio don't have time for that. One shot. Pop! In the head. Senior and Junior gone. You want to tell me what really ha went down? Pop! Bruce right in the head. Bruce is dead. The only one left is our homeboy. Marty. The smart guy. Numbers guy quick on his feet as he's reaching for his cell phone to call his kids for his final words. The brochure, the pamphlet that Bruce showed him earlier about the Ozarks falls out. So he starts rambling like, uh, shoot man, I, I, you know, I can get you this money. Pause. Bruce hustled Dale for $8 million over a period of three years. The money you usually would make, that wasn't enough, dude. You had to go there. All this bloodshed. This dude is nobody to play with. Trying to sell himself and sell Ozarks so he can live his life thinking this will get him out of it because all this drug dealer guy wants is what money respect and the new best thing right three things that's all he wants the new best thing money and respect so he says hey man look this place this Ozark place has more shoreline than the all of California you know we can get I can get you 500 million dollars in five years 500 million dollars in five years is what we're looking at people he tells his wife why you tell your wife I don't know having he has money he has a lot of money he's got 7.9 million dollars seven million nine hundred and forty five thousand dollars to be exact what could what would you do if you had 7.9 million dollars really Mm, I, I don't know if I would still be driving a Toyota. Like, 
What are you waiting on a rainy day? Like, what are we doing? Live your life, man. Live your life. You know that Wendy is the name of Martin's wife who's cheating on him with a man in a track suit and ASIC shoes. And I'm like, okay, either he's got a whole lot of bread or he's stuck in like 92. So, okay, this is either the man she's having an affair with or this is her father. Obviously, it's Gary, the man who is responsible for this affair. He said, Martin, Marty has already set up a PI, a private investigator, somebody um, who's been watching her. They're probably, I'm guessing they were on their way to divorce court. She just didn't know it. He was getting his facts together so when they go to court, they can battle it out, right? So, go to 8003 on the 80th floor. Get a gun and make it happen. Well, all the while, he's finding out the facts on his cheating wife with her lover saying he's advising her to go empty out the bank account and this heifer actually did it. The killer part is Dale's already there. Oh, Martin's in the car and he's trying to boss himself up and he's trying to mentally prepare himself for basically this war, this confrontation. He's going to confront his wife of two decades and two children. His dream is destroyed. You want to take my, you want to take my money? gonna lose you will lose while i'll lawyer up you know and as he's walking towards this penthouse in the sky a body falls i'm talking this was right there with fargo when the air conditioner fell on that man and a man went splat this fool fell from the top floor splat onto the pavement and i'm like is his wife coming next she never came down oh yeah that's him that's mr backshots so he gets back in his car and he's like, F this, I ain't calling it. It's a call from Dell, Mr. Del Rio. He says, I can take care of your Wendy problem right now. What should my father do? Now we know, go backwards, y'all. The same way that the Hansons were. He told the story. I told remember the story. He said the same thing. What should my father do? Fire her. It's not her first time that she stole. It's just the first time that you caught her. That was deep. That's how you knew the writing was on point. The show is going to be excellent. I'm excited to get into the second episode. I'm just saying. He gets home, footsteps, and I'm like, ooh, is it the kids? Ooh, is it his son? Ooh, is it the neighbor? Ooh, is it the police? Who's walking in? His wife walks in. And he says, instead of saying B, he says, you're welcome. Gets to the bank. He wants $7.9 million. $7,945,000. Oh, and four hundred, four hundred dollars was in there too, y'all. He did. The bank didn't want to release the funds. The agents were there, which I was like, really? It's his money, but you know, whatever. Um, he gets the money to Del Rio. He's short sixty nine or uh, sixty nine hundred dollars. Actually, six thousand nine hundred and fifty dollars. Um, this show has a lot of math in it. If you're a math person, you probably really love it. Um, if not, you're probably like, huh? How much, huh? It's a good show though. 7.9 million dollars i need you to flip that the real says i need you to flip that 7 million in missouri and clean it i know you can do it just figure out how all of that was a test now that he looks for tails and will that play out later in the season absolutely i'm sure it will so the family packs up in that honda odyssey van with his cheating wife wendy his son jonah and his daughter charlotte they're on their way to missouri from chicago not too far of a drive. But the agents we know are waiting back at Chicago at the office. We also find out Bruce was involved into some shenanigans with them. So the case against Del Rio and the cartel needed an insight, which had to be Bruce. So now they're questioning, where is Martin Bird? Martin is in the Ozarks, man. It was really sad when he said, I have to pee. And I really thought he had to use the restroom and, you know, relieve himself, but he did not. He needed a moment for himself. And if you think about this whole episode, he hasn't had time to even release his wife cheated on him. His homeboy is dead. His job is messed up. The person who he's been cleaning money for, just he's witness to all of this stuff. This is hard time. Now you got to leave. Think about if that happened to you. You had to leave right away. That's horrible mentally. It's breaking him down. He cries. He cries on the side of that tree. And he walks a little bit and he sees the future. He sees this water. His family gets out the van and they're right behind him. And we are like so ready for episode 2. So ready for episode 2 through 10. I'll be back y'all. Tell me what you think about this episode. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen with this season, man? So much. My mind is like so many questions. What's going to happen with his kids? Is his kids going to mess up and tell? Is his wife going to cheat again? Is his wife going to um, 
I don't know. I feel like the wife will be the one to screw him over. Is he going to really clean this money or is he still going to skim? Obviously, he's going to skim. He's got to. Come on. Come on. You're too good at it. You're the best at what you do. How is Martin going to overtake Del Rio? How will Martin succeed at getting out this game? Will he get out this game? And how are the agents going to get involved? This is a good seat. This is a very good show. I definitely believe, just off the pilot, they're going to get to season two. Peace out, y'all. Drop a comment below. Subscribe.